designers, today I want to talk about how to improve the usability of any websites using a UX research tool called UX Tweak. UX Tweak is more than just uh, website testing, it can also help you with card sorting, tree testing and session recording. But today I'm going to take a page of my site, this one here, and create a new website testing study in less than 10 minutes. I'm very excited about that, hope it's the same for you. I'm not an expert researcher, I'm actually a designer, but uh, this tool is great for me because it's super easy to use, doesn't require any technical skill and the data is super accessible and easy to digest. If you stick to the end, I will also be giving you free tips that have helped me conduct user testing at work. It's gonna be fun, so let's jump right in! First, let's take a look at my website. I've decided to split my projects into two sections where in the first one I've got my case studies, for now it's just one, and in the second one I've got my freelance web design projects. Well, it turned out that the structure is a bit confusing and people don't always know where to find my most important work, which for me are my case studies. So today I'm going to create a website testing study that can help me discover usability issues and pinpoint the exact time and place when users face issues completing their tasks. So let's take a look together. Here I can see all my active um, studies um, and on the left column we have uh, four different tools uh, for usability testing. We have uh, website testing, session recording, tree testing and card sorting. So I will go ahead and create a new website testing study. So I'm gonna call it something uh, like this and here I can add my domain. So I've already created uh, a study using this domain, so I can just uh, find it here, which is super handy. And uh, in this column, I can also set a password or uh, set my rules, but for now, I will go ahead with these settings. Now, to make my website compatible with my study, I need to paste uh, this snipped code into the header of each of the pages I want to test. I built my website in Webflow and this is super easy to do, so let's take a look together. I'm going to copy this code here and um, I bring up my Webflow site. So, from the edit page uh, settings, uh, if you scroll down, you can find this section with a custom code and now I'm going to paste this code on all the pages. Now, let's go back to UX Tweak and create my first task. So I'm gonna call it something like that. Then I, start, I set the start uh, URL address to be my home page and the success uh, URL address to be the page of my latest case studies, so this one here. If I want to, I can also add uh, more tasks, but for now, let's go ahead um, with this one. In the messages section, I can customize my messages. Remember that the clearer the instructions, the more reliable the results. And I also think it's nice to end the test with a thank you message. So let's see what we've got here. Now I'm going to skip uh, the questionnaire for now and uh, head to the next uh, section which is the screening and here I can define uh, things like uh, the location of my users, uh, the devices, uh, operation uh, systems uh, and so on. So I'm gonna keep everything as it is uh, and I'm gonna do the same for the sessions uh, part. Here I can customize the color and uh, my logo to match my brand identity. So let's uh, go ahead. I'm gonna choose uh, my color, my green and upload uh, my logo. 
and this is the final step before launching my study so let's go ahead and launch it yay my website testing study is now live but before we test it there is one thing left to do which is to update my website so it should work now let's go back and i'm going to copy the url and bring it up in a new browser window here is my task i can see it's actually working let's see if it works across all the pages so yeah seems like it's working fine as you can see it's very easy to get your study up and running in just a few steps and if i wanted to see the result of my studies i can always find this option in my active and finished studies so let's take a look at this one that i did a while ago in the first tab we have an overview of the study including a little summary how many people completed their task successfully and how long it took them we can also find a bunch of uh, other useful information and uh, in the next tab and this is super cool i can get to see how users have interacted with my website which is pretty awesome and that's because um, i've allowed it ux tweak to record all the pages where the tracking code is um, installed from the settings page of my study let's take a look at this one together And uh, it's all done. Setting up a test with UX Tweak is super simple and you create your first project for free. Now, at the beginning of this video, I promised you that I will give you some tips that have helped me conduct user testing at work. So let's take a look at them. Before jumping straight into the test, don't forget to determine your research goals and objectives. Think about uh, what you want to get out uh, your research and if there are any usability issues uh, with your uh, website so that you can design the study in such a way that allows you to answer these questions. Giving uh, your participants clear instruction is super important as you cannot be there to support them if they get stuck. So they need to be crystal clear about what you would like them to do. Use general terms and provide context so that they can easily navigate through their tasks. Finding the right questions is great, but you also need to find the right people that best represent your target audience so a good piece of advice here is to look at the quality of your users rather than the quantity for example if you're testing a website for ordering food you will need feedback from people who order food regularly so make sure to search out to the right people for your study and that's it for today i really hope it was helpful if you have any more questions leave everything in the comments and let me know if you want to see more tutorials with ux tweak as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more and till the next one. Ciao!